So, uh, great to see you at the Democratic National Convention. And off camera, you're talking about some of the things you're helping the Obama administration with. But talk to us about what you're doing. You know, I think you see a lot of big city mayors here this time. Yeah, Cory Booker. He's been very good, and Antonio Villagrosa. And I think it's because he really reached out. He has a special office that talks to big city mayors all the time. We do conference calls all the time on really hot issues. When you need something from the White House, they're very responsive. Every time I've gone back to D.C. and had a major problem, it's just not, oh, hi, thank you, well, maybe we'll do Yeah, they actually set up follow appointments with people in the cabinet, you know, so the money for the Port of Oakland, the, the special ATF actions that we've right. had to take out the guns and the gangs, those came as a result of, of meetings that the White House set up mm -hmm. with Eric the Attorney General. And so they really, I think, care about cities and they pay attention. So that's why, even though, you know, I don't normally go to the national conventions. I, you know, I do some sport in the California Democratic Party. But last I saw you answering answer a constituent letter while he was talking. Yeah, so. so one of you know the, the last convention obviously was historic, and I wanted to be here. But I came this time because I want to help build uh, the Democratic movement. I mean, our convention is actually more of a working convention, I think, than right. a lot of other ones. You know, people come together around issues around zero waste. I've been to meetings around women issues. Uh, obviously, a lot of women have a lot at stake with Obama. Obamacare. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize for Obamacare, it's finally a real equality, Reality. possibly for women in healthcare. We can't be denied for pre-existing conditions. We can't be charged more than men. Um, it covers most um, women and their families. So we have a lot to lose at this election. So I find it um, really important to be here. Um, I'm here on my own dime, but it's still I, I'm doing it mostly because of Oakland. I think we wouldn't get very much out of a Republican president during this recession. Sure. They're not sure. doing much for anybody, much <laughs> less for big cities like ours that have higher sure. numbers of poor people, higher numbers of unemployment. So I think it's important to be here. Yeah, absolutely. What do we have to look for the next council session as far as police uh, monies and, 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 uh, and re maybe a replacement for redevelopment? Is that possible, you think? Or? You know, our state's not doing much. You know? yeah. I saw some of the really big leaders here, and we didn't exactly get a lot of, um, of feedback as to they have any plans. Mm -hmm. You were saying, Mr. About uh, the, we were talking about the redevelopment and the props of the state of California. And I talked to Gray Davis about it. He said that uh, the state of California broke it. I mean, the legislature, and they thought they were going to be able to save affordable housing. And now they're auditing project by project. They're slowing development down. I mean, I'm waiting now for John Chain to audit the Army. Bay. I asked him to audit it. I want you to okay it. I want you to go right. through it. Yeah. Because we're ready to construct. We're ready to go. We have 17 months. And you don't so, want any red flags coming up, right? Yes, because we're going to have to bond it. So we want him to come through and okay sure. it now. And so we're like, he told, he promised me we're one of the first 16 projects to be okay. But can you imagine that? Throughout the state, people are waiting for the controller to approve their redevelopment projects that that's were horrible. midway. That is horrible. horrible. It is horrible. So um, that's broken. Isn't that hard on the bond, too? I mean, he has to, we, we have to wait. Oh, well, that's no, why, you know. uh, even though I've gotten the money and the grants, I have to wait for an okay, because nobody wants to bond a project yeah. that somebody might decide that they're calling back. So, I mean, it never was a redevelopment project. It was never on the tax rolls of the federal land. So it, that's why I'm hoping we can get a quick okay. But what we found in the real world is that people want to know right before they're willing to bond those kinds of projects. So we worked so hard this year to get both the $15 million Tiger Grant mm -hmm. and then basically the city stepped in and saved the port by being able to meet the deadlines for the $242 million for the California Transportation Grant. So I'm ready to go, ready to build, could have people that work in 17 months. You're fired up and ready to go, right? Right, we're, we're waiting for that. So that's going to be not so much a big council issue, but a big issue from our administration. I'm working really hard, have been working hard all summer to try to actually resolve some of the police issues, right? And so 
We're down to five issues. We started with 55 when I was mayor. We started with 22. I'm down to five issues, and we're working really hard to see if, if we can't get them resolved by December, if we can have a plan to get them resolved. Right. Mayor Kwan, thanks a lot. Okay.